Okay, today we are going to take a look at the cherry wheat that I brewed. So like I said, this was with an extract kit and it was a little darker than I wanted. So therefore the cherry color really didn't come through. But we'll give it a pour here. When I tested this, checked this last time, it was really it was really wangy. We can't smell the cherries in that, that's for sure. It is just a tad bit darker than the, the regular wheat was. It's like not, not a whole lot of head. So I said if I were to do, do this again, I would do uh, an all grain wheat beer and then do the cherries in with that instead of actually probably using a wheat extract. Yeah, this is like I said, this turned out a lot darker than what I would have liked. So, like I said, you can smell the cherries in this. It's kind of a. Well, it's probably hard to tell. Let me see. I can't see very good with this. It's a crappy flashlight. But. It's so like I said, with the wheat beer and also with the cherries, I would expect it to be a little bit cloudy. So, the heads disappeared pretty quick. So let's give it a try, see if it's calmed down anymore, if any more of the cherry flavors come through. Actually, the cherry is coming through a little bit more now. It is sour. It's so like I said, it's... Uh, these were sour cherries. These are not uh, sweet cherries that were in there. Maybe I'll just leave that yeast in the bottom this time. But, uh, so like I said, it does have a cherry smell to it. Actually, it's stuff probably more so than more so than the uh, regular wheat smell from the regular wheat without the cherries. But it's kind of a sharp, soury, not like a sour beer, not like a lambic or anything like that. But, uh, so like I said, the more, the longer this is set, the more the cherry flavor has actually come through. So since this is not a really hoppy beer or anything like that, and I'm in no hurry, I think I'll probably let these sit for probably another couple months. So like I said, the first time I tried this, it was like... But now it's actually pretty good. So, I think time can't do anything but help this. It's not bad now. It's like I said, the cherry flavor is starting to come forward a little bit. So I think the longer I let this sit, uh, the more the cherry flavor is going to show up. So, not bad. So, I really don't have a whole lot for Homebrew Wednesday today. So... You'll get my beer review on this, and that's probably going to be about it unless I can come up with something else. So, not bad. So, cheers. 17, happy homebrew Wednesday, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Brew beer. Later, guys.